Hello everyone and welcome to PG Gaming. I am Officer Parrot and today we are continuing uh, Life is Strange True Colors. Uh, in the first episode, pretty much got introduced to Alex, Gabe, Ryan, Steph, Ethan, the girl in the flower shop. Oh. Um, Eleanor. I forget the girl in the flower shop's name. Um, and we just ended with uh Alex beating the crap out of some guy named Mac. Um, <clears throat> so well, just continue right here. Here we go. I'm okay. It's up my face right there. I'm okay. I'm okay. There you go. This is a really cool looking apartment. I guess I might as well unpack. Let's see what it says. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Riley. Riley. All right. Uh, explore the bag, the the apartment bag. Shoo shoo. It's a shoo shoo. Oh God, shoo shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. Ethan's really talented. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. I really wish those mitts had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview and Mac thought they were sleeping together. This is fucking stupid. Yep. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout. A guy who went to fucking juvie wants to be your study buddy? 
What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. I know. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Hmm. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Really happy for you, Gabe. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Is that a sword? Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. I think you can change her clothes. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Hmm. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk. Play it later. We realize there's more. Crazy how much we've changed. No way.
Guess Gabe didn't cut out our parents. How mature. Look at them. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. I guess we will play the mind game. Oh, you can't hit the... Uh, I was trying to get in it. from on the leaderboard.
sculpture magnet. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? There is more to take out of the bag. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. I think I'm done with the bag. Ugh. I'll finish this later. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eye. Dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special You're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here I don't belong here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe.
Being here is too good to be true. I'm not going to let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Max's stupidity didn't ruin everything. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye. Thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize 
Uh, that we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. And I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jet will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Okay, I'm going to cut it off here because I'm on a time crunch. So I will uh, come back uh, pretty soon. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye.